What's up guys, it's Som here and today I'm going to tell you about how to handle 10-bit files and work with it right from your Apple MacBook Pro. Well, Apple MacBook Pro doesn't support 10-bit natively. So you're gonna have to need some workaround or third-party applications to handle it for you. Basically, you need to transport your 10-bit files to Apple ProRes codec. You can just edit any kind of footages which are on ProRes right in your Final Cut Pro. It's amazing. I mean, the Final Cut Pro works amazing with ProRes. So now about the third-party apps. You have got two options like uh, what I recommend using is one is Kino and the other is Edit Ready 2. Edit Ready 2 costs somewhere around $49 and Kino costs around $120. But Kino is kind of a fully fledged application. If you are doing full time editing with a lot of files, footages, clients, so basically you need to invest on Kino like I have done. I use Kino and I also use the Edit Ready 2 for transcoding in my other computers. So basically both of the applications can transcode your files and the 10-bit files. So if you have shot some 10-bit files and if you see the thumbnails, just don't get carried away with those thumbnails and think like it's a cutout file and just don't go ahead and delete it because those files are actually in working condition. You just have to transcode them to ProRes and it's going to work. I will go ahead and show you in my computer how exactly to do it and how much time normally it takes to transcode. So let's go ahead and do it on my computer. Okay, so here is my GH5 card with one 10-bit file which I shot today in the morning. It's a 10-bit 4K. So you can see that it doesn't show me the preview because Apple doesn't of course doesn't support the 10-bit. So you can just see the thumbnail. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, yes, I'm going to show you with both applications with once with Kino and then with edit ready too. Let's go ahead and check first with Kino and see which one is faster at transcoding. Basically Kino is expensive but it has got a lot of features like it's a fully fledged application. You can preview, you can read time, you can do a lot of stuff. I mean uh, filtering works the best in Kino. So here is the file. You can see that it shows up but there in Apple Finder it doesn't. It just shows up a thumbnail which I know it's showing up the video file and I can even play the video file. Perfect. So basically you just go ahead convert convert to And you convert to H264 1080 directly if you want to directly share online or if you want for editing purpose you can export it to ProRes 422, 422 HQ anything you like let's go ahead and do ProRes 422 and see how much time it's going to take okay and go start jobs Let's see how much time it actually takes to transport the file to ProRes 422. And then we will be trying the same with Edit Ready 2 and see how much time that app takes. I'm actually use both of them. I have bought the Edit Ready 2 today in the morning and Kino I have been using for a year right now. And I find the Edit Ready 2 a bit faster, but Kino is I mean it has got everything so I basically use Kino but I am thinking to use Edit Ready 2 just for transcoding and Kino for everything else so it's pretty quick it was short so that's okay we are just testing with an example so that's fine then we will just go to Edit Ready 2 let this transcoding finish and we are going to go and see what size the file has got because ProRes is like an uncompressed codec so you are going to get pretty huge file okay so it's converted it says converting status and it's finished okay yeah so there you can see that the 10 bit file thumbnail you cannot see but the transcoded file you can see that now 
and if you play we can actually play that as well and if you want to see the size it's like 3 GB that's it good so the 10 bit file was around 819 MB and this is around 3 GB okay so now let's go ahead and do the same transcoding with edit ready 2 I know we are gonna close edit edit 2 there you go and we drag the file now here we can select what preset you need there is a lot of option actually additional options uh, I find them very helpful you can use whatever you need for example uh, let's first transcode this destination file size time lapse edit ready test okay sorry it test desktop folder convert all now let's see how much time it takes it's actually pretty faster than kino at transcoding i mean i like it it's going okay it just takes some time for transcoding because you are like getting those uncompressed codec files uh, for the Apple MacBook Pro. Apple Final Cut Pro supports the best as Apple ProRes or ProRes HQ. Everything else becomes almost next to impossible to work if it's like 10 bit or 12 bit is a dream. For now, let's just stick with 10 bit. And I guess it, it's taking around same time with Kino and Edit Ready. Just the Edit Ready interface is a bit easier. I mean, it's just doing one task that is the transporting, while Kino is doing a lot of things like reviewing and uh, retiming, fetching, resizing, cropping, filters, a lot of things. So I like it. Kino, I love it, and I use Kino only. Edit ready, I'm going to use it for transcoding as it has got a better interface for transcoding alone. And okay, so once this is finished, then you will be able to see the second, third file for it so that we can actually compare the one transcoded with uh, Edit ready 2 and the other transcoded with uh, um, Kino. So this is exported. Where did it export to? Time lapse. Okay, here it is. perfect so that works and it's around same 2.43 gb and that was around 2.6 gb so it's good to go if you have any questions let me know thank you bye bye